This is the kind of question where I think we'd really benefit from spending a bunch of time on the question stem and using the free info as much as possible before we go to the statements. If I have two minutes for this question, I would be very comfortable spending a minute and 50 just thinking and rephrasing the question using the free info because I shouldn't need more than 10 seconds to evaluate the statements if I did a good job in the front end of the question. So the question itself seems to be concerned with whether or not the sales tax was more than 3%. And what I'm wondering is, what's the cutoff in terms of the price of the guitar? Where, what would be the price of the guitar if we were at exactly 3%? And then it can kind of say, okay, if the price of the guitar was less than that amount, then the sales tax must have been more than 3%. And if the price of the guitar was more than that amount, then the sales tax must have been less than 3%. So I want to change the question. Instead of it asking, was the sales tax more than 3%, I want to ask, was the price of the guitar less than some number? Because if it was less than that number, then the sales tax must have been more than 3%. Now they gave us a total number of 624, and I can't help but notice that 24 is exactly 4% of 600. How do I notice that so quickly? Because I have this trick where when I multiply by a percent, if there are two zeros that I can reduce, I do that because a percent just means divided by 100. And that's why I'm thinking, well, if I use 600, which has two zeros, and I say, well, I have 24 on top of the 600, the 24 is exactly 4% of 600 because 24 is 4 times 6. Now I've established pretty quickly that if the price of the guitar was exactly 600, the sales tax was exactly 4%. So to find the cutoff of 3%, I need to go a bit higher than 600. So let's quickly think about 605. What's 3% of 605? Well, it's 3 times 6 plus 3 times 5 cents, essentially. So $18.15. 605 plus 18 dollars and 15 cents is almost 624 so let's go with that let's just say that the cutoff is where the guitar is about just slightly over 605 dollars so i'm going to rephrase the question to was the price of the guitar less than 605 dollars now I'm ready to go to the statements, and I hope you'll agree that we can get this far in about a minute and 50 or less. Statement 1 says that the guitar was less than 602. I wanted to know whether it's less than 605. Well, yeah, if it's less than 602, it's definitely less than 605. So this is sufficient on its own, and we can eliminate the answer choices that claim that it's not. So B, C, E are all gone. We're down to A or D. Now, statement two says that the sales tax was less than $30, which means that the price of the guitar was more than 594, but I wanted to know, is it less than 605? Knowing that it's more than 594 doesn't actually tell me which side of 605 it's on, and therefore statement two is not sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.